Hi, welcome back everyone. I'm December and welcome back to Siberia. How are you doing tonight? I'm having a nice glass of wine and I thought I should do some recording before I passed out. So yeah, last time I think we spoke to the professor and we gave him our mammoth doll and he just took it. So I want that back right now. Um, probably not here, but there's loads of stuff that I can see, so let's ransack. What's in here? Anything I can pick up? Ooh, what's that? Another voice cylinder! Bergstadt voice cylinder. I'm gonna have to check that out at the train, and I think my game will crash again, so... Yeah. Anything... Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Just the voice cylinder. Why don't you take any of this shit, Kate? There's loads of stuff that's cool. Oh, there he is. Hi, Professor. You're just standing there looking at me. Oh, I see something I can pick. Oh, that's a mammoth doll. He won't let me pick it, though. Willie. I don't need that for the time being. I don't need that for the time being. Hey, Prof. What you doing? What is it you want to know, miss? Everything. About me. I would have loved to study at a university like this. No age is too old to start learning, my dear. Maybe, but you know, the eternal student and all. You prefer being an eternal lawyer? I have more important things to deal with. Live problems, not things that died millions of years ago. Everyone has their own priorities, my child. Watch it, Kate. You don't want to insult him. You told me earlier about a lecture on some ancient Siberian tribe called the Ooks or something? <laughs> the Ooks. The Yukals, my dear. Careful not to confuse them with the Ukistran people of Central Asia. Do excuse me. I, I wanted to know if your lecture is going to start soon. Your eagerness to learn delights me, my dear. But I haven't finished studying this marvelous mammoth effigy yet. Don't worry, I will call you. And see you later. All right, so he's not done preparing the the lecture yet, so we have to do some other stuff before that. What would you say about seeing Hans Varlberg again? After all, you could come with me and help me find him. Yeah. <laughs> Young lady, you are very kind. <laughs> I'm far too old for such escapades. What did you just say that you're never old to learn some new stuff? You're contradicting yourself, man. Your Hans Varlberg sounds uncannily like the one I'm looking for. I thought we established that. Can you that. tell me a little bit more about him? He was always a mystery to me. He never said very much, never quite seemed to grasp what you said to him. He expressed himself instead through his incredible mechanical contraptions. His inventions, I admit, have been much appreciated by the university. The few times we really did talk, it was about his strange interest for mammoths and a doll. Some sort of doll that obsessed him. Like the one next to you, maybe? Arriving in Barrackstadt is an amazing experience. I've never seen such a station. Uh, you came by train? Yeah. Yes, in a kind of clockwork train with a spring mechanism that winds down regularly. You mean you drive a train? Young lady. Oh, no. Uh, okay. uh, I'll lead. Sorry? We already talked about that, but... What is it you want? I want to talk to you about birds. My train stopped in a peculiar aviary. It's very odd. A lot of bird species seem to seek harbor there. Ornithology is far from being my favorite subject, but I must concede that the station is the pride of the university. It was initially intended for teaching purposes, but then birds started arriving from all around the world. <laughs> it seems that there are still rare species breeding there and flourishing. Are there? Can you give me an example? Hmm. I have been told about a kind of bird with peculiar habits. Let's see now. The Amazon? Where's the... I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We already talked about this, but we haven't talked about Sauvignon, have we? If I were to say... Oh, let's see. So we are. No, we have. Oh. We have talked to you about everything. I'll Sorry. So you're absolutely no help to me. Hmm. What else can I take from your place? 
something from here, apparently. Oh, what's this? What's that? Yangala Cola powder. Didn't we read something about the Yangala Cola? That should be important. Soon. Ooh. And pliers. Or test tube holders. I call them pliers. Anything in here? Mm, I thought I could go to the other cupboard, but apparently not. Okay, so what else do we have to do before this guy starts his lecture? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go have another chat with that station master, since he seemed so knowledgeable about those birds. Those damn birds. Hiya, station master, sir. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? Well, you can tell me about these birds. I love birds. All these birds in a station. This is no ordinary station, miss. Oh, no. These birds are part of the prestigious University of Baruchstadt Ornithological Collection. Over the years, this aviary has housed some of the most fantastic species from all over the world. And I am not exactly your typical station master either. This little world is my responsibility, and that is no easy task. I can well believe you. And you know what's the hardest? The hardest thing is to keep interspecial harmony. And one day some explorer introduced a couple of cuckoos from the Amazon. Whoa. It wasn't a good idea? A nightmare! You know, cuckoos lay their eggs in the nests of other species, right? Now, what's more, they also push the host's eggs out of the nest so that they receive all the mother's attention, right? Accursed cuckoos. Nightmare. I see what you mean. That's one tricky bird. And there was nothing you could do to stop it? The faculty declared the bird a protected species. If it wasn't for our mechanical eagle, we were sitting on a major ornithological catastrophe. You have an automaton here? A wonder of technology. It's an eagle that's mounted on rails in the air. It passes through and it swoops down to collect parasite eggs. But heck, the dang eagle's been out of order for several years. Impossible to collect the eggs myself. Why not? I, uh, I can't climb up the gangway. I fell off it several months back and I still have a pain in my spine. Not to mention the vertigo I've been getting. I only, only have to look up in the air. Whoa. You poor soul. That must be very hard. The worst thing is, cuckoo eggs piling up in the nest. Soon the rectors are gonna notice. There's trouble in store. Big trouble. Oh, I'm worried. Yep. Worried. So, station master and bird master. That's pretty badass. But you seem to not be doing your job very well. I might be able to help with that somehow. Where might I find some forest sauvignon plants, please? No place around here, that's for sure. I don't know what you're talking about. That stuff's from the Amazon. <laughs> you know, for someone who knows nothing about the plant, you seem pretty well informed about which mysterious faraway country it comes from. Oh, I'm Amazon, Peru, Papua, New Guinea, it's all the same to me. Gotta go. Gotta work. Mm -hmm. Wait, don't go! You know what? I don't think he was being totally straight with me. I know what you mean, Kate. He was totally lying to us. Get back here, Birdmaster. I have some more questions for you, since you were being so evasive. Where did you go? Aha! Found you. You didn't really go that far, did you? Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see I am very, very busy? Uh, no. I, well, well, I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. Thank you. I can see that you're very busy sitting on this bridge. So about these grapes... I'm looking for a kind of little juicy berry. You don't know where I could find some? Look, lady, the station doesn't have any Sauvignon berries, not even forest Sauvignon. Funny you should mention it. That's exactly what I was looking for. Forest Sauvignon. Uh, 
soapy, raspberries, red currants, they're all the same to me. And we don't grow none of them here. But you see, I have just read a very interesting book which says that the rare Sauvignon berry is actually cultivated here in the famous Baruchstadt University Avery itself. Well, if it's in a book, then... Don't believe everything you read, miss. I don't know why, but I don't think you're telling me the truth. What do you mean? I don't know. How should I know where to find your stupid grape? Go ask your professor, what's his name, Pons, the paleontologist. But you're the master of this station, so you should know better than anyone. Nobody tells me anything. I don't know. Go see the old guy with the fossils. Fine. I'll go see the old guy with the fossils. I won't disturb you. Welcome to Barrowstadt, miss. Thanks. Professor B- Poltergeist person. What do you know about these grapes? Professor, you are not honest with me. I will find you. Were you here? Yes, you were. Now spill the beans, man. Spill the grapes. I need to know. What is it you want to know, miss? It's about these grapes. You wouldn't know where the forest Sauvignon plants are kept in Barakstadt, would you? Uh, why do you think there are Sauvignon plants here? I read about it in a book at the library. Uh, try going to see the station master. If such a shrub exists, he will have a better idea than anyone. It's actually he who sent me to you. I thought it a little strange, but he definitely said ask the paleontologist. You're the only one here, aren't you? Yes, yes indeed. What a strange way to behave. Well, I, um, I think he must have made a mistake, that's all. Nobody tells me anything here. Maybe you should ask the rectors. After all, they are in charge of the university. All right, thanks. Fine. I'll go ask the rectors then. I'll leave you in- Sorry? I think at the end of this Sauvignon quest, I'm gonna have to ask the students and the mammoths and Oscar about these damn Sauvignon grapes. Nobody seems to know. I think they're running a, an illegal operation right here. Because I do know that the so- Sauvignon grapes, you use them to make wine. It's like good wine. So they must be doing something illegal. I got leverage! Uh, Gentlemen, forgive me f- A little problem, a little problem. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving station. Shut up. <laughs> now tell me about these grapes. Are you sure there are no Amazon Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt? Because I have just interviewed the station master and the paleontologist, and what they said really didn't convince me that there wasn't any here. We are quite definite on this point. There are no Sauvignon plants growing in Barockstadt. You see, miss, the Amazon Forest Sauvignon is a rare shrub that requires very special conditions for growth. How special? That's right. Uh, Conditions that are very hard to reproduce, believe you me. Difficult, but not impossible. Uh, Fortunately, our garden has proved very successful. Oh, your garden? So, there is a garden in Barakstadt? Oh, the garden, well... If there was one, it would be only a little garden hidden behind the station. But our station master would be very proud of it. Would he now? He would take very good care of it, too. Everything would grow marvelously if we were able to cultivate it at all, and it would be all down to his gardening prowess. And we would be proud as punch. And we wouldn't forget the role the paleontologist might play in this. What's the paleontologist got to do with it all? Without him and without his laboratory, how would we make the wine, do you think? And it would be good wine indeed, my dear colleagues, would it not? Oh, yes, a delightful balm to soothe away our long hours of toil and our heavy responsibilities. We would wait impatiently every year for the arrival of the year's produce. So, 
If I have understood you correctly, there are indeed Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt. They are cultivated in a garden behind the station, then turned into wine by the paleontologist's loving care. And finally, the pleasure of tasting is yours. If I'm not very much mistaken, gentlemen, you have a minor racket operating here. Miss, you do go jumping to some hasty conclusions. We never said that. That's not what we said at all. Uh, we, we were talking in the conditional. You know, with ifs and woulds. So, what would happen if I had such a hunch? Hmm, you would have to keep it to yourself, of course. Yes, if, if you would be so kind as to keep it a secret. <laughs> It would only be a small local concern, producing barely a few bottles every year. That's right. Nothing so grandiose as a business. Otherwise, we'd be liable to be fine. So, we can't count on your discretion, can't we? Don't worry. I have no intention at all of getting messed up in anything. But I could sue. And you could give me bribe money. But you fucking drunks. You just want the wine! Here we are, busy already? Thank you. And thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for all the ifs and coulds and woulds. I now have enough information. So they basically operate a small business here, where they grow the grapes and the paleontologist is basically the brewer. And he makes the wine in his little chemistry lab there. It's a beautiful setup. How did I not think of this myself? I would love to have my own wine. Zen wine. So let's go talk to him again, because now we know what's going on. So if he tries to lie to me again, I will stab him in the crotch. What is it you want to know, miss? About these grapes. I have just had a very interesting little discussion with the rectors. It seems that you are perfectly aware of the existence of Sauvignon plants here in Barrackstadt. Apparently, you find them very tasty. Not at all. I never drink wine. I prefer to make it. Production to me is much more satisfying. So you don't deny? Why, uh, seeing as the rectors have let you into our little secret, I even converted part of the laboratory into a fermenting room for Amazon Sauvignon wine production. <laughs> of course, I cannot produce wine in large quantities. We have to be discreet, after all. And what about your students? Haven't they noticed anything? Oh, you know how students are. After all, a chemical reaction is still a chemical reaction, even when grapes are involved. And malolactic fermentation takes time. Sometimes strange odors begin to waft through the corridors. Then I just burn a little sulfur. Incredible. Totally incredible. You are really something, Professor Pons. Really something. Hmm. I'm not sure whether I should take that as a compliment. Hmm. What are you going to experiment on chemical reactions next? Meth? You're turning out to be quite the Walter White, sir. What else should we talk to you about? Not much. I'll leave you in peace. I- Sorry? No! You better give me some wine. So maybe I should go talk to the station master as well? Because now that the story is all unfolded, he might spill the beans and he might show me where the Sauvignon grapes are. Yes, let's do that. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see? I am very, very busy. I can see that. No, no problem. I'm... I can see you're very, very busy. Now show me the wine grapes so we can get drunk. You have been playing with me, haven't you? You knew very well there were forest Sauvignon berries in the station garden. No, not at all. I have never seen your Sauvignon. Cut thing. the crap. You don't have to lie to me. I know all about it. You and the rectors are in cahoots, and the professor's lab has been turned into a distillery. You've all got a nice little smuggling racket on the side. Smuggling racket? Hey, hey lady, you're going a bit far there. It's just a little on-the-side thing we got going. That's all. It's just for ourselves. Hey, be honest. 
You should be ashamed of yourselves. Aren't you worried about the reputation of this fine university? The authorities should be informed of this. But we haven't done anything wrong. It's not a crime. Can you open the gate to the garden, please? Sure, sure. No problemo. Right away, miss. Finally. Some fucking progress. Take me to, to this wine place. Where did he go? Oh, was it the, the little pathway? With the locked door. It must be it. Man, he moves fast. Are you related to Momo? I miss Momo. He was a good kid. He's a damn good kid. There you are. Please feel free to visit the garden at your leisure. And uh, uh, there was just one thing. Uh, I'm not a liar. Not really. Just mum's the word. There is a reputation in the university to think about. And I have superiors and I have to do what I can. I understand. Don't you worry. Oh, thank you, miss. Don't worry. You're safe. As long as you give me a hundred billion bottles of wine, we're good. You're good in my book. We'll be good. Everything's hunky-dory. So what do we have to do here exactly? Hmm. Oh, these must be the grapes. Get them. Get them now. Now. Perfect! We put grapes in her boobs. Lovely. And if I remember correctly, we just read about the birds, the cuckoos, that they absolutely love these grapes. Love, love, love. Because the grapes probably ferment in their stomachs and they get drunk off of them. So let's go feed these grapes to those damn birds. Where were they? Birds. Ah, here they are. I got a treat for you, little birdies. You better like it. <gasps> Damn, I got too close. Run away, Kate. Yeah, this is nice little cuckoos. Go eat the nice little grapes and get drunk. You too, little buddy. Come on, move it. Move it. Oh, look at them pecking away at that grape. That's it. Go get drunk. Don't mind me. I just want to see what's up here. Oh, that ass shot. Thank you, developers, for making that shot. It was totally worth it. Oh, this is the mechanical falcon that kind of picked up the parasite eggs. It's not exactly functioning, as I can see. It has a nest inside it. And I think this is the cuckoo egg because it's totally different. Impossible to reach. What do you mean impossible to reach it? It's just there. Can I grab it with the test tube holders? There we go. We got the cuckoo egg. Oh, and I know where to use it. I know exactly where to use it. Go, go Kate. I'm so excited. Woo. Kate, 
Better move that ass. Hey, uh, miss, 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 please, uh, excuse me. Yes? You know, I want to apologize for our little misunderstanding. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I brought you a bottle of wine. Marikstadt Sauvignon. Very good year. Let me know what you think. I'm very touched. Thank you. Good luck on your journey, lady. Thank you. Finally, some results. I can't believe someone actually was nice to us and gave us some booze. Best game ever. I got a nice expensive bottle of homemade wine. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it really, really much. That is so nice of him. I... I never got something like that from... from game characters. So nice. So, this is where we use the egg. No. On the other side. This is where we use the egg. No. Turn around. This. Yes. It's the perfect size. There we go. Puzzles! What's in here? Oh. I really don't remember this part. Oh dear, this looks really complicated. Better press the lever. Or pull it. Okay, well, that wasn't as hard as I thought. We just had to pull a lever. Which makes me think, how the hell did they not figure this out? They just had to go inside and pull the lever, and it would work. And what an amazing bandstand, really, all automated. It's amazing. But that's con that's that really means that we have concluded our deal, so they better pay up. starting to like this university. We're getting wine, we're getting money for just basically pulling a lever. It's a pretty sweet deal in my opinion. In the next episode guys, we are going to get paid. Thanks for watching.